Hi, ni hao, I'm Chef Tom. Today we are making chicken dumpling. And uh, it's the Chinese New Year. Everyone, happy Chinese New Year of the snake. Xin nian kuai le. So uh, what happened is uh, I uh, sift some uh, flour here. And then I make a little volcano hole. And I put some uh, cold water. A little bit at a time. And just cover up. Okay. And you're just gonna keep doing that. And you put a little more water in. And you cover up again. You just keep doing that three, four times until they form uh, like a little dough. Just like this. Okay. And then you keep cover up. You keep mixing up until like this. Usually the ratio is like uh, three to one. If you have three cup of flour, then one water and uh, the water will be plus or minus so I usually don't like to add too much of the water until that as they need it but I think this is the texture you want okay sticky your hands gonna be messy but it's okay this uh, you're gonna take some time to uh, knead the dough and you just keep doing that you see and just keep flipping around and uh, just keep kneading now you can start while you're kneading the dough you have to put some flour so you gotta get your flour ready on the side and um, you just uh, sprinkle some flour a little bit at a time and make sure the dough is uh, kneaded nice and smooth so what you do is uh, sprinkle some flour if you have a granite top I suggest use that clean up the surface really good and it's such a great top to work on this kind of project because I show you why so you just knead like this it's gonna take some strength and work out. By the time you're done, you probably burn like a couple hundred calories. <laughs> so you have to keep doing that. In between, we're gonna let the dough rest for like a few minutes. And then uh, we're just gonna keep doing this until the dough got really smooth. So what I mean is you can use a scraper. All this time you see, on the granite top, it's easy. Just like this. Okay, keep doing it for like a uh, four to five minutes after six minutes can you see the dough is really smooth like this uh, almost done and uh, what I'm going to do is I got a towel don't have to be wet just a towel we're going to cover up this dough and let them rest for 20-25 minutes so this is beautiful now I can tell it's very smooth it will listen to you and uh, later we're going to uh, form a little dumpling skin and then we're going to wrap the ingredient next I'm going to show you how to make the ingredient so good I'm going to clean up the table like this here we go put it right here and get a towel like this cover up okay let them rest now we add the ingredient for the chicken dumpling. I got some uh, cabbage, the na napa, and some green onion, and some uh, shiitake mushroom, the dry kind of shiitake mushroom. You soak it into uh, warm water and let them soak for uh, until soft, maybe like uh, five, 10 minutes, and you get it out. And now I'm gonna add some uh, chicken strip. Sometimes I don't buy the ground chicken. I just use the leftover chicken and pack it in. I use my food processor and it worked really well. This is a small one. And uh, what happened is that uh, you put the vegetable at the bottom because each vegetable have juice. And now we're gonna add the ingredient. Put some ginger, some garlic, and some soy sauce. Just a little bit, or you can use uh, salt, pepper, and some uh, oyster sauce. And we're going to uh, give them a quick chop. Like this. And double check. A little bit more. The reason I don't want to press too long because I don't want to blend it too fast and too much, too strong 
And uh, that's how I usually do it. Perfect. Now it's done. All right, next. I forgot the sesame oil, so I drizzle some. And I usually like to uh, feel the texture of this meat. And uh, the meat is a little bit wet because I got some Napa, but which is not too bad, okay? Uh, I'm gonna put it in the fridge for maybe uh, five to 10 minutes. Also, at the same time, give the ground chicken, have a nice marinade all the flavor in. All right. Now the dough has been uh, rested, so we uh, sprinkle some flour like this, and we're just gonna knead for another couple minutes. Oh, nice! It's better, much better. Just like this for a couple minutes. All right, cut it in half. That's what they look like, and I'm gonna make a like a long roll, and I cut into a little pieces, and then we're gonna make the dumpling. Now I make a roll and I cut. Depend how big you like, a piece like that. You dip with some flour, and then use your palm and put it down. Wait, this way, okay? And you use a roller, and you just go, watch, go like this. Try to make the center thicker than the edge, okay? Like this, take your time. You see my center is thicker. The reason you do that is, so later, when you steam the dumpling, the bottom part will not break apart. This is beautiful. Look, that's how you're supposed to. And you just wrap the filling in. I show you. Okay, I show you again. Just like this. Like cup around. And use your palm to roll. Like this. Alright, I'm gonna make the second one. Okay. You do like this, and then you're just gonna cut it. You cut little pieces, sprinkle some flour, and just use your palm and just smoosh it like this, and then you put it on the side. And you just Use your roller. Okay. You uh, put a like a baking sheet tray, sprinkle some uh, flour, and uh, you put your dumpling on the top there. See that? And me and my boys are uh, making with me. And uh, it's good to have two, three people working on this. And you put your mixture here, and this is the get okay, one of the skin. And you put some mixture in the middle, okay? And then from your finger like this, hold it and press it down gently, a little bit at a time like this. And then you use your thumb, the thumb here, okay? And then you just squeeze. Make sure it's nice and tight and sealed. Like this, okay? And take your time. Just like this, yeah? I'll show you one more. Maybe I walk from different angles better. It's hard to see here. Okay, put it right here in the middle. A little more. You don't wanna to put too much filling too. And the meat will come, if the meat come out and the dumpling will break. Let's see, I wanna show you. See my thumb? Where'd it go, my thumb? Right here. Ah, see it? Put your thumb like this. Okay. And then you just do one first, tight, and then squeeze the second one, third. Keep doing like that. At the restaurant we do 13 knot, but at home it's okay. It's pretty. Okay, I have a pot of boiling water. It's uh, just oil. And you're gonna add some uh, Cooking oil, just a little bit, like this, and uh, some salt. Some people add the salt uh, when they're making the dough, which is okay too. And now we have a tray of the dumpling, and make by me and my boys. So it looks very nice, and we're gonna steam the dumpling 